Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Timothy Danley, and I am the drone team leader for Glen County Search and Rescue. Recently, you may have seen our post talking about how we recently purchased a dedicated drone for our search and rescue efforts. And today, I'm excited to share with you a little bit more details and a little bit more of the capabilities of what this drone can do. This drone was purchased through a grant from PG&E, uh, many donations from many different people across the community, and fundraising efforts by all of our members. Combined effort to get this done. And today I'm very excited to share with you the drone that we have purchased. We purchased the DJI M30T, the M standing for Matrice and a T standing for Thermal. The M30T is a very powerful search and rescue drone. One of the best in class and best that money can buy right now. And I'm excited to share with you some of the details that make this thing such a life-saving machine. The M30T boasts an IP55 rating. IP standing for ingress protection, which is its level of defense against both dust and water intrusion into the frame of an electronic device. IP55 means that this drone is perfectly rated to fly in dust storms and heavy rain, both of which we have fairly often here in the Sacramento Valley. In perfect conditions, the M30T has a max flight time of 41 minutes, which is a long time to remain in the air. And with the funds we raised for this drone, we were able to purchase four sets of batteries, which allows us to hot swap the drone without even turning it off to ensure that we have four full flights of time. Along with the batteries, we were able to purchase a charger that is able to charge eight batteries at a time in a cascade method, meaning it will charge the most charged battery first and then go on to the next set, next set, and next set. So you can plug it in, forget about it, and you can charge all your batteries at once to make sure you continue flying. The M30T boasts a max wind resistance of up to 35 miles an hour, which is perfect for our area that is well known for its north winds. They can get upwards of 30 miles an hour very easily. There's not much weather we can have in this area that's really gonna slow it down. This drone will operate as low as negative four degrees Fahrenheit and all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means even on the hottest days of our summer and the coldest nights of our winter mountains to the west, this drone can fly and save lives. This drone is incredibly safe to fly too, boasting 720 degrees range of protective sensors. It has sensors located all over the drone that can pick out when it's getting close to solid objects. And when it senses these objects, it knows that there's something solid there and will not allow you to move into that item and crash into it, making sure that we don't damage this very valuable piece of equipment. But let's talk about the really cool stuff that's on this drone. What makes this so special? Would you believe me if I told you that this had four different cameras on it? We have the FPV camera right here. FPV stands for first person view. And this moves with the drone itself. It's non-stabilized, but it gives us a good idea of what wind conditions are like in the air, helps us navigate a little bit easier, and provides a lot of just overall useful information when we're flying out to the objective. On the gimbal itself, we have a high resolution wide view camera for taking in the world around us, capturing high quality photos and videos on searches for review afterwards, and just allowing us to see a great stabilized version of our search scene. We also have a zoom camera on this, which can go all the way up to 200 times. That's not complete true zoom. It only goes from two to five, and then after that, everything else is digital zoom, meaning it's basically just zooming in on the pixels, but being able to zoom in that far is incredible enough. With the zoom camera, we're also able to active track, which means if we spot a missing person, we're able to draw a box around them and have the drone itself follow them with its camera so that we never lose sight of them. Probably the most important camera on this drone, however, is the infrared sensor. The thermal imaging sensor is exactly what it sounds like. It's a camera that is able to pick up on heat, whether that heat be from an engine, a campfire, or body heat. This means that we can fly and see the world around us even in the middle of the night, and especially on cold days where we're looking for someone lost in the woods, this will make their body heat glow like a beacon to us. One really cool feature that this M30T has as well is the laser range finder. The laser range finder allows us to see the distance from the drone to whatever it's pointed at up to right around a half a mile. And we're also able to drop GPS pins with this laser range finder that will give us the elevation in above sea level and the exact grid coordinates for GPS where they are. 
Using these GPS coordinates, we're able to put them over to one of our other mapping softwares and lead ground teams precisely into where those people are. This allows us to rapidly get teams to the exact point we need them and save more lives. One other item we were able to buy with the funds we used to raise this drone is a spotlight and loudspeaker attachment that mounts directly on top of the drone. This right here is the CZI LP-12. The LP-12 mounts directly onto a mounting bracket on top of the drone, it slides right in, stays on there nice and solid, and then it plugs directly into a USB-C port on top of the drone. You turn it on and it's gonna fire up and be ready to go. So with this attachment, we're able to control it directly from the controller itself. One of the best parts, of course, about this particular spotlight is that it will track with the gimbal, meaning if we look down, the light will follow the gimbal, and if we look up, the light will follow the gimbal. All this is easily controlled via a very simple interface right here directly where the camera is. So for instance, right here, I can turn the light on. I can make the light strobe. I can turn it off straight from there. And then I also have the ability to put out the messages through the loudspeaker that we need to call out to missing people. We either have pre-recorded messages, we can do text-to-speech, or we can record messages whenever we need. The loudspeaker has multiple different volumes on it as well. Right here is around 50% volume. Thank you to all our donors who made this possible. And then you can go all the way up to an ear-splitting 100% volume. Thank you to all our donors who made this possible. Thank you. We can also record our voice lines as we needed. Thank you to our donors who made all of this possible. Thank you to our donors who made all of this possible. So with this loudspeaker, we are able to call out to missing people wherever they might be with just a few pushes of the button on the screen and give them information that help is on the way to stay put, that we will be there soon. And with the spotlight attachment, we're able to illuminate the work our ground teams need to do to bring that missing person back home. So that's about all I have for now on our new acquisition, the newest piece in our search and rescue fleet. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them myself. I'm really looking forward to proving to the community just how much this means to us. I really want to thank the community personally for putting so much trust in us with your dollars to ensure that we made the right purchase for our area. Thank you again to all of our donors and fundraisers and otherwise supporters that helped make this dream a reality. I cannot wait to show you the good work we're going to do with this drone. And thank you again to PG&E for the amazing grant that helped us cross the finish line in order to make this purchase. This was a large purchase to make. Everything in this package that we purchased cost just under $14,000 for everything total, which is a large chunk of change. And I want to make sure that the community realizes we are going to use every piece of this equipment in order to better serve our community.